what's going on so i'm back with a voiceover to a new video thanks to my subscribers for sliding in my dms you feel me i, I see y'all i see y'all out there working so y'all this is some crazy crazy mess i know i used to i normally react to strong mommy chrissy jazzy and all of them but this right here y'all need to see my Where's barber stuff i just stopped all together being in society i i literally started hanging out in the woods by myself i was camping out by myself my wife at the time was not really with the weirdo shit i was talking about i was only eating fruit was the not shit he is really with y'all is him wanting to leave his successful life and his wife and kids behind to go in the wilderness and live in the wild in the nature eat like an animal and be one with nature and be in this polygamous type of relationship okay and all over the country honey probably in your, your neighborhood the weirdo shit i was talking about i was only eating fruit we had disconnected because we would eat at dinner but i had literally just started eating fruit i'm gonna let the video play but this right here is just me showing y'all where it all started. This is what he did to get to where I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all. Y'all got to give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into this crazy shit now. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was just in the knowledge all day, every day, wanting to think only the thoughts that I was thinking, like talking to somebody else really felt like a distraction if we were talking about dumb shit every saturday the depth the doorbell rang ding dong my manager would bring me the money matter of fact i got it to the point where my manager didn't even bring everybody's booth rent that i gave him a card on his own so he would just a business card so he would go to the, and deposit the money right into the account so really after a while i had no no dealings with the outside world at all it ran itself I made Babylon run on Babylon, and I had my fear space. I literally made that for myself. I literally made a situation where I never had to deal with Babylon, and I made Babylon deal with itself. And I just sat with myself. My wife started not understanding what I was talking about, and she would understand it at the time, but she did not. She wasn't on my level, bro. You know, and we just had a kid and I was like waking the fuck up, man. And it was a scary process because I was like, you don't understand what I'm saying. So, yeah, y'all heard it y'all self. He left his wife and kids to go on a journey in nature because his wife didn't want to leave the comfort of her homes and the comfort of her kids that they was that her kids was comfortable with to go live out in the wilderness and lay on rocks in the water and eat one time a day and shit and leaves with his ass. Girl, this is a hot mess, and it's real, Jesus. Scary process, because I was like, you don't understand what I'm saying? Like, and yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't good, because not only did I not want my barbershop, which is just a success, and everybody's like, what the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, dude, I'm, this is not me no more, bro. Like, I'm not feeling this shit. I want to go. I really want to leave. And I'm thinking to myself, how do I out... Did you hear this man? To me, it seemed like he just had a breakdown, a mental health type of thing, or a midlife crisis, or he running from something. This don't make no sense. And I'm thinking to myself, how do I alchemize? I know I got to sacrifice. I got to let these people go. I got to let this barbershop go. I have no problem with that. It's not feeding my soul. But how do I alchemize this life to start my new life? You know what I'm saying? Because... Obviously, I'm done with this life. I've outgrown it. It doesn't stimulate my soul. It's not feeding my soul no more. I'm bored. And I'm ready to become a guru. I'm ready to become a teacher. I want to start teaching the knowledge that I have in my mind. I want to start making videos about this knowledge. Um, and yo, like, Satan, right? And when you're trained, yo, through, my, through everything that I loved, Satan used my baby moms. Satan used... Uh, my child, Satan used any and every facet to, to, to try to uh, 
disturb the mind that I had, you know. Um, literally, my baby mom at the time was literally trying to take my page down. Like, she wanted to take my Facebook down. Like, she didn't want me teaching at all. She's like, you're losing your mind. And I'm like, nah, I'm finding my mind. You, you need to find your mind and lose the mind you have. And she was like, either you be with me or Facebook. And I chose Facebook. Well, I just re recently lost that. But I chose... So you mean to tell me his life was so hard? He had cars, houses, all this that he said a family, a wife, kids, a barbershop, but he had to clock out of it, go across country where he got a big uh, online for for uh money. I just re recently lost that. But I chose um to teach and go after my heart and do what I knew when my mom was right. And um and it took a lot of balls for me to do it. Cause a lot of people was like, damn nigga. You really gonna leave this barbershop, nigga? This shit bumping. I'm like, man, fuck this shit, man. Y'all cutting y'all antenna. I don't want to even be a part of that. I was showing the barbers how much stress they put on their nervous system just holding a clipper all day with all that electricity going through their hand. It's putting all that stress on their body and their nervous system. So basically, you convincing these men why they shouldn't work no more. Why they shouldn't do what they need to do to provide for their family no more. Like, just because you ready to clock out of that and you it's boring with you, like, why you got to put everybody else in that? Like, that's crazy. All the men around you, they ain't nothing but deadbeats, men that left their families because life was too hard and they wanted a break from work for five years. Electricity going through their hand, it's putting all that stress on their body and their nervous system, and it's bringing in their brain waves. And I'm like, y'all going to stay stupid, and we're staying in a system where this shit is going to fall apart, man. We need to really start going to set up. And I want to teach people, but the barbershop I was in wasn't listening to that shit. Like, I was in my community trying to teach, and niggas was like, listen, man, we want to watch the game and talk about bitches and fucking stupid shit. Nigga, nigga, nobody, why, why do you want to talk about the economy and, and, and health and wealth and all that shit like that? Nigga, no, look, man, niggas want to be dumb, nigga. So basically, this is Nature Boy, a polygamist, a man who praises himself. He says that he is God. He has multiple to multitudes of wives. He has a coat where they all slip slap and sloppity slam each other. All share wives and coochies and children. These women go there willingly. They leave their children, their family, and everything behind in Babylon, the real world, America, and they go and travel this. Sin and Ash Messiah. Y'all take care. This is my first video doing this. I will be coming back with some more. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. Like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure y'all watch my next video. I know this is something a little new. But I'm telling y'all, this is the juice. This is the tea. Y'all be talking about strong mommy Christy them, man. This man crazy.